I am going to give you some helpful tips for Canva today. So when you come into Canva, this is the same presentation I did in an earlier video. And over here on the left-hand side, you'll see this is our menu. If you wanna see how to um, pull up your old lessons or pieces of your lesson, you can always click those three bars um, to pull it apart or pull it to the back in. But what we're gonna be doing is showing you a couple of apps that are useful in planning and executing a lesson. So we have design, which is where you can put, pick your specific template. Then we have elements, which are the things you can plug into your template, different shapes, graphics, um, things like that. We also have text, brand, which from your district, you'll be able to have that come in. So you, if you don't have it there, that's because we don't have access to it. Uploads are images that you can pull in draw where the students can actually come in and edit on it and we also have apps and this is going to be what i'm specifically focusing on today so the first app that i would recommend is translate when you come in it's going to look like this where it says search canva apps and you type in translate and the first one that pops up this little black square is the one that i think is the most beneficial so you'll click it and what's going to happen is it will appear down here below and now it's going to be logged away in your library of apps you can use. And what's really great is you can translate to any language that they have available. I'm going to do Spanish because that's what majority of our students speak here. Um, so I come down to Spanish, but if you have a Turkish student, a Russian student, XYZ, you have access to all of those different languages. So I click the language that I want to go ahead and translate to, and I can have it translate my entire presentation or just the one page. And it's gonna actually pull in the text elements so you can see that what is going to be translated. So if you're a teacher who teaches Spanish uh, or a bilingual class, you may want it in English, you can actually have that happen as well. And you hit translate and et voila, now my slide has Spanish. And if you notice, I have duplicates. So I can decide which one do I actually wanna use. I can edit and fix my spacing um, up here. I can do all those things once I get my language in there. And the translation is actually pretty accurate. So that's, that's pretty wonderful as well. Now the second tool I would use besides translate would be our QR codes. Um, and again, you just go to apps, then I would type in my search QR code. And I like, you don't have to, but you can type in QR code generator if you want. And it's gonna pull up a bunch of different options. For me personally, again, I like to use my dynamic QR and this pops up down here. My main reason I like it is because I'm a little extra and I like to put different colors and shapes and all those different things. And so I can select the QR code I want and if I'm doing this as a lesson with my students, what I can actually do is hit share, copy my link, and then put the link into my QR code generator. And now I can change the color, the background color, all of those wonderful, glorious things. And once I've picked all of those things, I can add it to my design. And now this is a QR code that my students can scan to be able to have access to the slides when they're doing their lesson. So that's a really cool one that you can add into. So those are my top two favorite tech tips in Canva, translate and then dynamic QR code. You also have access to a lot of other ones um, like YouTube can be pulled in, Bitmoji, Imagine, which is a really cool AI feature, your Google Drive. Um, all of those are wonderful, and if you would like to know more about them, please let me know, and I will do however I can.